Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to put a signature on your PDF file, and most importantly, the entry form for the Patriots pen. So the first thing you want to make sure you have is the actual Patriots pen form. You want to make sure you have it all filled out. I obviously don't for the sake of this video. To save this, you simply press on the print button. You make sure you have save as PDF and you click save. Then you want to save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. Make sure it's accessible to you. All right, once you have it all named, you have it set up, you have it saved, you're all good. So now you can go on to the next step. In the bottom left-hand corner where it says type here to search, you want to click on this and you want to look up Acrobat. So it should pop up as Acrobat Reader DC. You want to click on that. And any messages that may come up, such as asking you to make that your default web browser, asking you continue, something like this. You want to just click no and you want to just click X out of it. Most other notifications that are going to pop up, you want to try to X out of them. If you must, click continue, and you should be good. So once you've done with that, you want to click fill and sign. For you, it should be somewhere down in this area, but for me, it's right here because I already have recents. So you want to click use new, find the file on your computer. So here, I found the file that I want. I'm going to click open and you want to click fill and sign. Once you have that, your PDF should pop up and it should have all your information where you have your name, your address and everything, all your personal information. So from here, there's a big button right here. It says sign. You click on that. You click add initials, write your name out. You want to write how you would do your signature, however you would write it. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to write Smojo. If you really need to, you can change the style. I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's already good as it is. You click Apply. You can click Cancel out of that. Once you have clicked Cancel, it may seem like nothing has happened unless the signature has popped up on your screen. If that is the case, it will follow your cursor and you can drag it all the way down to where it says your signature right here. So you just place it on top of there and you can resize. If it has not popped into your cursor already, you can go to sign, click on your thing, and it will pop up right here, right next to your cursor. So, you can go down to the scroll bar, and you can place the signature right there. If you need to make any other adjustments, you can zoom in, you can make it larger, you can make it smaller. So, I have it all set up now. You want From here, you want to go to File, Save As, and you want to click on OneDrive. When you click on OneDrive, it's going to ask you to sign in. Simply sign in with your school email, which is going to be your first initial, last name, at students.wtps.org. It is on the screen for you if you need to do that. And so you, once you got your, all, your OneDrive set up, you can find where you need to save it if you have your grade folder, whatever. Name it, whatever you need. I already have it set. And from there, you just simply press save. Once you have it all saved, here's the easy part. You go to your mail, you click new message, type in Bathurst or if you have a different teacher. As a subject, you can put whatever the teacher wants you to put or whatever you want to put. For the sake of this, I'm going to be putting Patriot Pen, entry form, write a nice message, Sorry for the teachers, but this is an optional thing. Down here, you'll see a little paper clip. When you hover over it, it says attach. Press on that, and you go to browse cloud and locations. It should take you to your OneDrive. Now from here, you want to try to find where your PDF file is. That may not be easy, so you want to go to files, and you want to click search. In the search bar, you can type PDF, press enter. <laughs> Once you have found your PDF, it may take a while to show up, you may need to refresh and try again, but once you found it, right here, you click next, and you want to click attach as a copy. Now it should just load in, and you're done. You can click send. Make sure you give your teacher all the necessary information that they need for this, 
make sure it's all set up. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. My email is up on the screen, or you can email me at Elliot Crosby. That is also up on the screen, and the teacher should be able to answer any other questions. And that's it. You're welcome.